Well, hello and welcome. I'm Michelle Milano, and this is my music studio. What I'd like to do today is to introduce you to some good and healthy vocal techniques. A little bit about myself. Well, I have degrees from um, undergraduate degree in general music. I also have studied at the graduate level. I have taught for oh, more years and more decades than I care to admit. And I have taught thousands of students healthy, good singing. And those students, some of them went on to be teachers themselves or performers, places like uh, Radio City Music Hall, Broadway, um, opera programs, and different things like that. But I don't want to bore you with too much about me and what I've done. I guess my only, well, one of my small claims to fame is I myself was not a born singer out of the cradle or whatever. I learned to sing when I was uh, well into my 30s, and um, not to be too personal, but I'm 63 years young and still singing. So um, I apologize in advance if I don't sound like I'm 25, 35, 45, or 55, but I can still pass on uh, some very fine techniques that I myself learned, starting with Sandra Bullock's mom at the University of Mary Washington in Virginia. She taught me, or forced me, I should say, she was a wonderful teacher, and I would say um, thank you to Helga Bullock because it is because of her that I sing at all. Of course, I went on to do many other things and study with many other people, but she was definitely my inspiration and my beginning. So today, if we're gonna start you here in my studio, I apologize in advance for not having fancy animations and all sorts of things that um, many voice teachers seem to have, but I wanted to keep it basic and really honest. And you know, if you were here in my studio, this is how it would go. So we would start with, you know, I'm assuming you're, you're a beginner, and we would talk about, you know, what are your goals? Um, you would want to sing, you know, perhaps theater or jazz or gospel or maybe even opera. My advice has always been, why not learn to sing classically? Because that's like you're becoming the marathon athlete. And then from there, you've got the height of technique and strength in your body to really sing and adapt to anything. That's my experience. Not everyone agrees. So um, th from there, we would then um, talk about your body, obviously, is your instrument, right? So we start there. And if you think about it, if it's your instrument, it needs to be in good alignment. So posture is really basically number one. So the way I want you to check your posture would be simple. You would stand up, hopefully against a wall, which I don't really have here, but I can give you the idea. You want to stand up what you think is tall against the wall, and then you would put your arm by your lumbar lower back, and then another one by your neck, okay, right under your skull, and then press yourself against the wall, and that should bring you a nice, tall posture and alignment. The second thing is, with posture, is you want to have your chin at a right angle to your chest. So keeping all that in mind, that then would be your singing posture. From there, we talk about, well, oh, there's a lot of talk about, you know, my mouth, how wide open, and things like that. So the general rule, and of course it's adaptable to different people and sizes and whatever, but the general rule is to keep your mouth two fingers wide. Okay? So check yourself every now and then. So you've got your posture, you know the mouth is two finger wide, and a very, very important key issue is where is your tongue? Now I would often ask my students, are you an uppy or a downy? When you are at rest, does your tongue stay to the top of the roof of your mouth or is it on the bottom? It needs to be at the bottom and it needs to be behind your bottom teeth, obviously. So check all of that and you have that part all done. All right, then the famous part of breathing. Okay, now breathing is really key because you want the breath to be able to support your vocal folds and you don't want it to be muscular. You want it to be from breath control. So what's the pop proper way to breathe? Okay, so one way of looking at it, and you can think about, well, babies, they breathe normally through their diaphragm. It's later on when we do a lot of sitting and other things that we learn to breathe more through the chest, which is not correct for the best singing technique. So what you would do, very simply, is you can lay down on, a, on the floor, on your bed or whatever. You do want to support the back of your neck, so that's not flat, okay? and then. Try to breathe then, and you'll notice that you only can breathe through your diaphragm. So then from there, when you stand up, you want to think of, well, what you'll do is um, expire your air. We'll get rid of it all. Get rid of it and shh, okay? And then we're gonna breathe in and 
out comes the tummy, okay? And what that does is when you do it that way, then your diaphragm is pushing down on those muscles and areas and tissues so that the lungs can drop down and totally fill up. So there's the basic premise for singing. I often would take, tell my students to do some vocalizing or your warm-ups, lying down and being very, very conscious of what organs or you know what muscles are moving and be very careful that nothing up here is moving. In fact, when you are singing, you can check here and make sure that nothing is grabbing or moving in there. You should only feel sound vibrations. Okay, so that's basic breath control, okay? But that's something that takes a little while before it becomes um, muscle memory, but it will. I promise you that it absolutely will. So from there, um, another thing you want to do is get yourself stretched out, relaxed. I like to say roll your shoulders, okay? You can stretch up, all right, and while standing, or you can reach down, roll up. But what's really important is to be able to relax those strap muscles, which are key for your larynx to be relaxed. So I would advise to you can turn to the right, okay, as far as you can without pain, and then look down, all right, back up, straight, turn left, and look down again, and you can feel that stretch all in here. Another way to do it, but you don't want us to force it, is you can put you, if you've got a chair or a stool, put your hands on either side and do the same, and you can feel that pull of the muscles all the way down, and that way stretch, same deal this way, and stretch. And then you want to think about having fun because this is singing and this is what you've always wanted to do. So I would say think of uh, positive things, good places. I don't know, perhaps an ocean scene, you know, something in the universe or, uh, you know, a desert scene or something. You want to just put your mind in a really cool type of maybe even um, dreamlike place that you're relaxed and you're ready to sing. It's a balancing act, no doubt, because you've got all these things to think about with your muscles, your diaphragm, you know, your neck muscles, your tongue, right? How two finger wide, all these different things. So that being said, I'm going to move on to do some basic vocalizing for you. So we will do that, but you want to talk about, oh, what's all this about open throat, right? Well, there are a lot of schools of thought on that. But for me, I think the basic thing, well, one of the things you'll hear a lot of is a yawn, you know, Oh, you want to get that wide open space back there and it lifts your soft palate and all that, but that's not how I teach. It, the, it, it is the beginning of the yawn, but once you go too far, it is counterproductive. So I prefer to think, maybe you don't like this one, it's, it's like you're about to sneeze, right? And you can kind of feel all that air pass through everywhere, through all the passages. And one that's a little more negative is if you someone went boo and you were scared, same deal as the sneeze. So that's as open as I like to think about it. And then um, we want to focus on using that diaphragm with each breath. So what I teach is, um, and you'll see a lot of it, I think when you watch or have been to voice lessons, it is the epitome of really silly. So yes, it's going to be silly and maybe even a little uncomfortable, but I always advise, well, go someplace where you're on your own, a corner of your apartment or your home, you know, have a little designated area where you can feel relaxed and try out these things. So here we go. So the best exercise that I have found, and I've seen it on a lot of videos, and I've done it in a lot of voice studios, is um, what we call a lip buzz or a trill, lip trill. And the, th the reason why we do that is because we want to be able to um, engage the diaphragm. So when you do a lip buzz, okay, here's a demonstration. This is right, very simple. But if you feel, you feel that it's something is definitely going on here. And that's what you want to engage and strengthen. It doesn't happen overnight, but it's just like any other uh, sport. Uh, we're often called vocal athletes, but it takes some training and it takes some time and it takes some patience. So let's have fun and enjoy the journey. Okay, so those lip trills or lip buzzes. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take you in a middle area of hopefully any range. Of course, I'm a lady and I'll sing soprano. I'm a soprano. Uh, but for you guys, you would sing lower. And as soon as I figure out how to put uh, links on the bottom of this page, I will have a set of 
soprano alto warm-ups, tenor, and bass baritone, which I already have recorded, but I just have to put them somehow online. I will also introduce a song or two that are very simple and actually in the public domain, so there's no copyright issues, but uh, we, will, we will learn to sing an Irish lullaby, perhaps you know it, I think best sung by Bing Crosby, Tura Lura Lura. It's a lovely song, a great way to learn some good vocal technique and not having too complicated a melody. Okay, so back to those lip trills. So let's just take it, you know, if you're a lower voice, you're gonna go down an octave and um, just thinking of the notes and you're gonna buzz. All right, so if you're a guy, obviously I can't do that. Then we're going up to the next note. you to be standing. I don't have that opportunity here. My arms aren't long enough. So um, you want to stand. Remember all of your posture, your back, your neck. Can't do the two finger wide thing, okay, or the open throat too well at all. But you just want to engage and feel that you have a diaphragm that's developing and engage. So here we go. All right, I'm just going to take you up a few more. diaphragm is up to. Uh, if you know how to play or if you can just sort of do it by ear, you can keep going. As you get higher, they will need, you will require more strength to get those higher notes. So just be aware of that. Okay, so the next exercise we'll do for the diaphragm, it's as if we're laughing, you know, ha 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 ha, think Santa Claus or whatever. Uh, but each at each pulse, you want to be able to move that diaphragm or think of the left, ha 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 ha. Uh, right? So you want to do this. Now you can do two finger wide. Think sneeze. Uh, right? So it's open, relaxed. As you do it, make sure there's no muscular movement, just vibration. Here's where you have movement, okay? So here we go. Let's do it again. Ha, 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 ha. sure your tongue is in the right place and so what helps with that is think of the Y. Put a Y in front of the ya, we'll do a ya and then ha ha ha, ya, ha 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 ha, and that gets your tongue in the right place. Ya, ha. and a bit of that open throat, okay? So that's something to work on there. Um, I would also say, one of the things I like to do is sort of a fun exercise, and for those of us who are old enough to remember the Muppets, right? Miss Piggy, whenever she got upset, she would just do this hi ya thing, right? So this is my exercise for that. It's hi ya We want to really feel that diaphragm move on all of those notes. And it also gives us a stretch. So we're gonna do see that stretch? We wanna stretch. Um, again, no movement with your with your neck muscles, shoulders are down and back, okay? Nice and tall. Here we go, let's try this piggy exercise. little 
exercises. The E vowel is actually a very good vowel that helps clear out what's ever in your throat. So we're going to speak French here. Just on and guys. Oh, wee, 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 wee. If you can add that Y to it, that's really helpful. E wee, 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 wee. E wee, 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 wee. Let's do that again. while doing that's good. Another way that teachers approach that is say, think ah, but say e. I know that sounds a little bit difficult, but that's that's the basic premise. Okay, so one more. We went, we spoke French, now we're going to speak German. It's just ja, 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 ja. Both of them mean yes, right? So here we go. He and guys, girls, ja, 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 ja. Nice loose jaw, relax. Ja, ja. lullaby. Here we go. I'm going to give um, an intro, short intro. I'll demonstrate it. And once again, at my almost 64 years, um, still singing. Here we go. this song for you to grasp. Another thing about vocal technique. In singing, generally it's thought that vowels are what sing. When you think about that, that makes perfect sense. So it's the vowels. So first of all, let's look at the Turalura part. Um, we want the beautiful vowels, and the vowels should sound, in your mind, just as loud or as strong, each one, even though they're placed at different places in the tongue, therefore resonate differently but the goal is that they sound about the same. So that's something to think about in the background. Basically it's this, vowels sing, and the consonants are just think of tiny little frames you kind of like zip and go through. You don't want to sing through an R, right? So I did it, a classical or classic vo vocal technique is to roll your R's. Now not everybody can do that. It's a good exercise. It keeps all the sound and the air forward rather than going back into your throat, which can also make you off key, not a fun thing. So if you roll them, and, and just as an aside, if you can't, a little exercise you can do is to say pot of tea and keep going faster. Pot of tea, 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 until you have a roll. So you can do that. Or um, just do a very, very light R in your mind, okay? Either way is fine. They also used to teach it singing it as a W so that you don't swallow the R and the, and the, and the air, but um, I would say just a light R or if you can roll a four down. 
So um, here we go. On the two, you want to always think and that's what you're rolled, okay? Actually, at the beginning, it's two, so we're getting right off the T. Right? Right off it, right off that consonant and into the vowel. So if I keep the R, right? So, right? And so that way, it lets the, the air flow and it just flies and does its own thing. So be thinking of that. It's always the vowels that sing. And that's why I think this song is excellent. Same with the beginning. Um, concentrate on the same thing. Over in Killarney. And get right off it. Many years ago, mother sang a song to me in tones so sweet and low. All right? And don't anticipate the following um, consonant. For instance, on that low, you know, you're going, don't think the W. Otherwise, it comes out low, right? Low W at the very end of that, uh, the count of the beat there. So that's the basic idea. Go ahead and practice these things. See what you think. I also will put on there, I will introduce in the next video, if I do it, if there's interest, I will come back and keep teaching, and uh, I will introduce a very simple classical song. Why not? It's a really pretty little piece. Uh, it could be thought of as more of a, a folk song, and we can do folk songs too. I think that's an excellent place to begin. It is a process. Keep that in mind. It's not like instant, maybe for some, but really it's still a, it's a muscle training endeavor. So maybe you haven't used those muscles. You can try to sing this song or even on a la while you're laying down, while you get that breath support, understanding that and what needs to happen with all of that. Um, you can do it that way. Uh, you can also do it um, if you hold your, I don't really like this way, but you can also hold your arms back and make sure you don't use your chest, okay, to breathe. It's all got to come out of there, remember? Expire the air, get rid of it, shh, breathe in. And then, okay, one last thing, you will notice that you need to keep breath, you don't breathe every other word, I know it's kind of a, the thing now, but you want to breathe at the end of thoughts or phrases. So just keep that in the back of your mind till we go on to the next lesson, okay? So thanks for, for tuning in and giving me a chance here. I, I hope to keep going. Um, just as an aside, um, I have my website, michellemilano.com, where I have so many other things that I offer. One of the things that I do nowadays is I make jewelry. In case you notice, that's what I have here, and I have another one of my pieces. So um, basically, when I was performing, I'm always looking for just the right piece of jewelry to wear with um, one of my concerts, and never could quite find the right look. Long story short, I found it one day in, in a store just sort of cruising past the jewelry counter and something caught my eye. It was on sale, two bucks. My goodness, right? And uh, I got it, got it home. It broke, pile of beads from there, that pile of beads to the Corcoran School of uh, Jewelry. Um, Corcoran School of Art and Design, excuse me, that I started uh, metalsmithing and making jewelry. So that's all on the website, but for now, this is just the music side. So. I, I again thank you and hope to see you again, all right? Keep singing. Bye.